Welcome back to my video on the designing, the building and eventually the sailing of my 7 meter or 23 foot um, Sharpie based design yacht. In this video I'll be building the tabernacle and fitting it into the bulkhead behind the anchor locker and I'll also be putting the um, drains in the anchor locker with a little trick I thought up. The tabernacle sides and back are going to be made of selegna, which is a eucalypt um, grown in New Zealand and was under my friend Brent's house for probably 10 years or something. So it's well seasoned, although it was slightly high in moisture content. That hole down there will go through the bulkhead inside a cap and there'll be some sheaves inside the cap and the line that pulls the base of the mast to make the mast upright and hold it there we'll go through that hole and then up to the deck and then back to a winch putting some resin on first it's not a timber that seems to soak up a lot of resin But it is a critical glue joint. Once again, the timbers are eucalypt. It's um, saligna, grown here in New Zealand. All glued up. And squared up. I'm making my first bulkhead. It's not a big one, it's station 1.5 where the um, mast partners will be. Um, it's probably got to be a better way. It would be easier of course if I was using plywood. But there's going to be no plywood in this boat. So That's more like it, putting these um, laminated boards through the thickness are create nice big flat surfaces. Yeah, I think these boards are going to turn out really well. Um, so long as I get all the grain running the right way, so it doesn't get ripped up in the thickness. Are. Looks like I'm getting close to needing to sharpen the blades. Uh, While I'm waiting for the glue to go off in the um, bulkhead I'm making for station 1.5, um, I'm doing some work on this area which I'll need to do before building the cockpit. Some final fitting on the anchor locker floor for glassing. One layer of 400 gram uni underneath two layers of 400 gram biaxial. This is um, bulkhead 1.5 and um, it's pretty close to being ready to come out and glassed <clears throat> and the mast tabernacle fits in this spot which has to be opened out a bit I didn't expect this yesterday when I fitted it it was quite a snug fit you can see here a gap and you can see how much it's moving lining everything up with the laser before the deck goes on, this is another one of those jobs it's best to do now. And I glued in the um, anchor locker floor and um, coated it and glassed it. Um, yeah, getting in there was no fun and um, glassing those corners, no peel pie on those, it was not an easy job especially for someone who doesn't do yoga. Yep. This cove here is still uncured, so I don't need to sand that. It'll get a good bond. Um, I'll be wrapping some double bias over and through the bottom, over, around and out, and then there'll be another layer over that, which um, encompasses it all. The glassing of the tabernacle to the um, bulkhead 
1.5 meters from the bow. Went quite well. Uh, tricky. Well, it's an exciting day for a couple of reasons. I've just um, trial fitted the tabernacle and its bulkhead for the first time. And um, second reason is I'm getting an allergy test this afternoon and hopefully it's not epoxy or polonia timber. But yeah, the tabernacle fitting is looking good. There's going to be some pretty heavy glassing in the corners. Um, there'll be some single bias uni, I mean, around here. And um, under the deck, there'll be some uni. That'll be fun. Might actually put that on before I put the deck on, on the deck itself, make life a bit easier. So it ties in the deck level and the base level. Be a bit of a um, double bias in around here. And I made up this tapered bit of a seatle in the lathe with a five degree taper and cut a circular, semi-circular bit of um, 200 gram cloth so I could wrap it around it many times to give at least a one millimeter wall thickness. And um, before I put it in, I put a bit of um, sandpaper around my tapered plug and um, bored out the hole so it was tapered. Put the cloth on the plug and poked it in there. And um, I think it's gonna come out quite easily. Yeah. Yes, I did have my mask on in this shot and a friend of mine watched my videos and he caught me in one shot where I didn't have a mask on, probably because I was videoing him. Bulkhead 1.5 is in. There's a hatch to go in under that um, tabernacle bottom there to go under the um, chain locker floor in there. And the um, anchor locker drains are in, up forward there. Um, there's not much left to do before I can start working on the deck again. Once again, thanks for watching. And um, hopefully you come back to um, see me get the decks on in the next video.